guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my previous video of this mannequin so basically this mannequin was gray before and on my previous video i recovered this mannequin to this lovely brown fabric on today's video i'll show you how i add these measurement guidelines on this mannequin so basically what i did i used um five millimeter ribbon and i pinned this ribbon on this mannequin so i marked the bust line on this mannequin the widest part of the bust the waistline, the thinnest part of the waist, which is usually where your belly button is, and the hips. Hips are like the widest part of your hips, including the bum. Next, I um, marked the front sensor and the side sensor, including the shoulder sensor. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. And the back sensor. And also I have marked the back waist length, which is from the shoulder to the waist and the front waist length from the shoulder to the waist. Also I have marked the bust sensor and I marked the um, neckline. This is my favourite neckline. So these measurements and these marked points will definitely will make my life easier to drape and and just create a pattern on a mannequin it is so easy to see all of the lines so it will be easy for me to make patterns for torso patterns t-shirt patterns skirt patterns because these lines are very visible very easy to follow so yeah i hope you'll enjoy this video i created a tiny like time lapse quick quick video of me adding these ribbons on this mannequin i hope you'll enjoy it First, I'm marking bust line, then waistline, then hip line, front center, back center, neckline, front printer seam, both printer seams, shoulder seam and side seam on both sides. back printer seams and it is finished. This is the front of the mannequin. This is the side of the mannequin. And this is the back of the mannequin. And here's the photo of my mannequin's measurement dimension guidelines. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please do comment down below on the comment box. And on my next video, I'll show you how I create these mannequin arms. I'll see you next time. Mwah! Love Anita!